Today's Bible story comes from 1 Samuel chapter 25. In today's story, we see that David is battling a sin problem, specifically his anger. While David was running from Saul, he lived in some odd places. For a while, he lived in a wilderness area named Paran. Near where David and his men were camped, there lived a man named Nabal and his wife Abigail. Abigail was a beautiful and smart lady who really understood people. Nabal was a very successful and wealthy businessman, but Nabal was a rude jerk, very rude. Nabal was celebrating his success and the great wealth of his sheep and goats. Things had been very good for him. David heard about the party and sent a group of young men to go and ask Nabal if he would share some food with David and his men. When David's men got there, they asked Nabal for the food. Nabal was not happy. He asked, Who is this David guy? Why should I give him anything? I'm only going to look out for myself. Leave me alone. David's messengers went back to him and told him what Nabal had said. Nabal's answer made David very angry. He told all of his soldiers to grab their weapons and get ready to go and attack Nabal. He was planning to kill him and take what he wanted. One of Nabal's servants had heard what was said to David's men. He went and told Abigail about Nabal's rude words to David. Abigail realized that she could not convince her husband to apologize to David. He was way too angry. She also knew that David and his men were going to come and take revenge on everyone. So she quickly gathered up some food and gifts for David's men. She loaded them up on donkeys and began traveling to meet up with David. David and his men were on the way to attack Nabal. They were armed and angry. Abigail jumped down from her donkey and bowed down before David. She begged David to forgive Nabal and her people. She said that God would not want David to go and kill Nabal. She said that David would later regret acting out in anger. And she told him that if God wanted to punish Nabal, God would do it himself. David heard what Abigail said. He realized that she was right and that his anger was leading him to do something that would be wrong and sinful. He told Abigail that if she hadn't come to stop him, he would have come and killed all of the men with Nabal. He accepted her wisdom and her generosity, and they parted in peace. When Abigail got home, Nabal was still having a party. She didn't even tell him what she had done until the next day. On that next morning, Abigail told Nabal that she had given David food for his men. When Nabal heard this, his health crashed. The Lord punished Nabal, and ten days later, he died. When David heard about this, he said, The Lord has avenged me, and Abigail helped me do the right thing by not showing my anger towards Nabal. Later on, Abigail and David ended up getting married. God's way is always the best. David had a chance here to do something very sinful, and he was trying to disobey God, but he was convinced by Abigail to do the right thing. God always provides a way for us to obey Him. We need to make the right choice and turn to God for freedom from sin.